Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. I'm back again with another comparison video. Before I just recorded a comparison between an Alexandria fragrance along with its inspiration, the MCDI Sheeper Palatine. So now I'm here to talk to you about the Dua fragrance that I picked up. This is my first Dua fragrance. And the one that I picked up is called 19 Shades of Benzoin. So this is my first Dua fragrance, as I said, if you've never purchased Dua fragrance. There's tons of reviews online about Alexandria fragrances, especially Dua fragrances. So there's a ton on there. But if you haven't come across them, this is the presentation. This is the box that it comes in. Opens up pretty nice. Um, inside, they did give me three samples and it fits very snugly into here and it comes in these bottles a lot of people seem to hate the presentation it doesn't really bother me too much um but you know it, it isn't you know too much to be desired but it, you know it's all about what's inside so i wanted to compare that to the labo's benjuan 19. so this is my 50 ml bottle so, uh, as I said on my previous video about um, Sheeper Palatin and La Chipre, which was the Alexandria version of it, I wanted to check out both of these clone houses. They seem to be the most popular clone houses out there. So I really wanted to um, purchase them because they're, you know, they're obviously affordable, but I wanted to compare them with fragrances that I already own. That way I would have a better gauge as to, you know, the quality of the fragrances. But before I get into it, I wanted to mention that when I did order from Dua, I was very surprised to see that they put in some samples. So what samples did I get? I got herbs, sea salt, and desire too. And this one is an inspiration. It's, a, it's one of the hybrids. So as I've seen on other videos, they do hybrids and quibrids and <laughs> all these other things. So this one is a Zerjoff Cruz Del Sor 2, which I've never even heard of, and Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So I do own Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So this is a hybrid of that. So I got a sample of that. Then I got two original fragrances. This one is called Peach Mojito. And the last one that I got is an, another original, and this one is called Spice and Vanilla. So I looked these up just to see if they were clones or if they were originals, and they are originals. So it's cool to, to you know just to see what they're working with. So those were the samples that I got. Now back to this again from Duo Fragrances. I got 19 shades of Benzoin, and it is a it is inspired by Benjuan 19 from Le Labo. Now, between the two, the difference between Alexandria and Dua, for example, is that with Dua, I didn't have to pay for shipping. They give you free shipping on up to two bottles. So I got free shipping. They're always running sales, which sort of reminded me of Abdul Samad al Qureshi. They're always running 50% off sales, but uh, Dua doesn't do that. But you, I, do const I did constantly see, uh, like I missed out on 30%. Then they had 15%. Then I was able to find a discount code for 25. I'm always at least trying to get 30%. So I ended up getting 25% off. And this particular bottle, uh, Dua Fragrances do vary in prices. This one retails for $60. And with the 25% off, this was $45 and free shipping. Now, the note breakdown for each of them is, is also what I noticed with uh, other fragrances is that their note breakdowns are exactly the same as the ones that they're inspired or clones of and so this um, sh uh, 19 shades of Benzoin and um, Benjuan 19 are Benzoin, Frankincense, Amber, Cedarwood, and Musk. This is an extract to parfum. It's 30 ml. Uh, Benjuan 19 was released in 2013. This one, which is the main reason why I wanted to get this one as a clone, as opposed to you know many other fragrances that I could have gotten clones of, is that for 50 ml, it's $350 retail. $350 retail. It's exclusive to Moscow, so you can only purchase it, you know, throughout the world 
on in September. September is the only time that you can buy it. And then if you do go and buy it in September, it's $350 for 50 ml. It is um, like tied for the most amount of money I've ever spent on a fragrance. So it's not something that I definitely would be rushing out to get. I do like it a lot, but I don't, I don't love it that much. Um, so I wanted to see how close this one was. 19 shades of benzoin. So what I get is between the two, between the two, let me get this, um, the Lalabo opening, opening again. Now with the 19 shades of benzoin, 19 shades of benzoin, it does open up a little bit harsh and a little bit different than Benjuan 19. Uh, it is, the opening is not exactly the same, but like deep in the dry down, Benjuan 19 opens up sweeter. This one opens up a little bit, for lack of a better word, uh, chemically, it's a little bit rough. But on the deep dry down on both of them, they smell pretty much exactly the same. So I'd give it, say, 95% similarity. I'd just take a couple of points off just because of the opening. But for me, um, I, was, I was impressed by it. It definitely, I definitely wasn't disappointed by it. When I did first spray it on, the first blast of it in the air, you're like, yes, that's it. But when you put it up to your nose, it's, it's a little bit rough. But then as the, as the fragrance starts drying down and you're smelling both of them together, they're, they're pretty much indi indistinguishable. So this is definitely worth $45. It's definitely a better alternative to spending $350 on a 50 ml fragrance that you could only get one month out of the year. Um, it, it does um, intrigue me. It does want make me want to check out others from the house. But the ones that actually got me in this mode to wanting to check out Alexandria and Dua fragrances were some of the Roja, Roja uh, $3,000 and $1,500 fragrances. Um, where I live, uh, I don't think that they have those, like the, the you know, his signature scent and a couple other ones but that's what's kind of cool about about dua is that they'll do these things they'll take these fragrances that are very hard to get or they may be discontinued or they may be extremely expensive he uh, so when i saw his interviews he'll go buy the fragrance put it in that machine to figure out what it's made from and then basically reverse engineer it to to uh get the scent um, profile of the original one now what I've heard of from Dua fragrances because there's a ton of reviews online there's a ton of like pretty big reviewers that have large collections mostly because they've been provided to them and there are other people who have large collections that have spent most of you know you know their own money on it so it's hard to gauge and again I'll pose this question just in case you did not um, see my previous video is someone posed the question why don't you see clone fragrances on anybody's top 10 list why you know i i think that's a fair question to ask i don't have an answer to it i don't i have these are like my first two clones outside of buying like those the popular creed aventus clones and all those other creeds that came from that that house out of uae i can't remember the name right now so those are the only ones other than that i you know here in kuwait i'm able to get like pretty good deals on uh, original fragrances it's not as cheap as buying clones, but you know, with clones, it's, you know, it's still kind of like a gamble. You know what I mean? If you're going to have um, 30, 40, 50 clones, you could probably have, you know, 10 or 15, like good quality scents. You, how many fragrances do you really need? Glad that I didn't get uh, caught up in buying so many of these clones uh, when I first got into purchasing fragrances because these are quite good the two that i bought this one and the one from alexandria are quite good so i probably would have gone down that rabbit hole and gotten a number of them so i'm glad that i've waited till later in my you know i'm still in the beginning of my journey it's only like my second year but i'm glad that i wait a little bit later to to check these out so that you know if i if i am going to purchase any other ones that i would choose wisely that's pretty much it this has been my comparison of Duo Fragrances 19 Shades of Benzoin uh, and comparing it with Benjuan 19 from Lilabo. 
Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your take on why clones don't end up on reviewers top 10 list. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.